I've never grew this stuff before in my life. So I want some help. Solaric, Celeric, what the hell is this stuff? So I was at the garden centre again today. I took my mum for a coffee. Oh yeah man, sons, you know what I mean? It was nearly, it was just past Mother's Day. And I picked up some of this, is it Celarac? Is that how you pronounce it? Celarac? And I've never grew it before. But what I want to do is pop it in a row, one of those rows next to another veg that I'm growing, so it doesn't really take up much space. So, two things today. I'm going to tell you, if you tell me what to do with this thing, I'm going to tell you what to do with the, the chard. Yes. We'll have a little pick of the chard. I'll tell you how I cook it. Because I know it's on one of the comments the last time. Some wasn't, somebody wasn't too sure on, on how to do it. And that veg is absolutely gorgeous. You go on holiday, it's like a side dish all over the place. And it's lovely. So I thought I would show you how, how I do that. If you tell me what to do with this bloody thing. So I'll read out the instructions. One moment. So like you see, I picked this up. It, it was 249 Celerec Brilliant variety it is. And I'll tell you. Because it, like you say, you hear it all the time, all the gardeners are growing it, but I've never grown it. So, position full sun, harvest, harvest from mid-September onwards. What else? How to grow, plant April to early June, 30 centimetres apart in rows 40 centimetres apart. So remove side shoots and let the exposed crown leaves during summer. Basically, let the crown, you know, hit the summer sun. So what do you use it for? What do you cook it for? It, it says it's a cross. This versatile root tastes like celery and can be eaten both raw and cooked. <laughs> we put celery in spaghetti bolognese just to give it that kind of little bite as well, you know? So can I use it in that? What would you use it for? And I can eat anything, absolutely, but on one thing, there was one thing that I kind of, I thought that was my, like, iron guts, I thought I could just trough the world, to be honest, but there is one, and it's a vegetable, and it's fennel, can I get away with that, now that's like an aniseedy taste, now I don't know if I, I didn't cook it right, I don't know if I left it a bit too raw, and it was a bit overpowering, because I've had it after me kind of incident with it, where it was just like spoiled the meal, and it seemed all right, you know what I mean? It was all right. Where I'm thinking, is this a little bit like aniseedy taste? Because I'm going to grow it. I bought the bloody thing now, but what do I do with it? Let us know in the comments how's the best to cook this, to look after it, to grow it, things like that. Will it just grow itself? That's what I'm hoping for. Hassle free. So let us go and pick some chard. And then we'll get back and I'll tell you how I cook that. Then we'll get back and we'll plant this. Come on then. So I've got the ubiquitous foraging basket. <laughs> you see that every allotment's got these. So I've got these. And I've got my little trusty knife. We'll get some chard from in here and from outside. And I'll tell you what I do and how we cook it. Because it is absolutely gorgeous. So this was planted last year around about probably the end of July maybe you know july september i'm thinking in here i brought it in yes i think it, probably august if i'm thinking about it and i'm going to do it again because it's really been it's just starting now to kick off into its own especially in the polytunnel so let's get a few leaves And it really is one of them veggies where it just looks in the garden. I mean, look at the colour of that. That's just fantastic. I think this is the bright lights one where it's all just different colours. Now, what I do is I'm not really, and it, it seems a shame because it's such a, and I think a lot of people do it, but I don't use the stalks. I'm just for the kind of leaves. So basically, just take the stalks off once you get home, leave that, give it a wash, and... What I do is just chop it up like carriage. Just, you know, like finely chop it in a pan. Before you start that, in a pan, olive oil. This chopped up already. A little bit of garlic chopped up. For us, like quite a bit of garlic. 
put that in sorted that off just very quickly throw in half of your, your your quantity it's a bit like spinach it'll wilt down to next to nothing you know what i mean so put that in and get it mixed up there put your next bit in get that wilted down and then a couple say two tablespoons of freshly squeezed lemon juice on there as well and that's it salt and black pepper oh, and just use it as like a what we do is like a a side portion of veg you can have it where you put it on toast and you melt a bit of say like goat's cheese on it or anything like that but the chard is it's one of our favorite vegetables you know what i mean so nice hot pan olive oil in get your your garlic just like that kind of roasted flavor you know like a little bit quick salt here throw in half of this then the other half then the lemon juice maybe a touch more olive oil salt and black pepper gorgeous so this is me outside chard and this one i cut back thanks to joyce who's one of the uh, leaves the nice comments Joy, i've never done it before but joyce says just cut it right back for the winter and then it'll come again and it certainly has yeah it's been picked by slugs and snails and you know puppy dogs tails kind of things but it's still there and it will get a few more cuttings probably before it goes to seed and this one now this one was way i put in way later the last year and you can see let's just move the camera this was the one what and it's come up re remarkably well to be honest it was the one that daisy trampled on the, our doberman puppy but it seems to come up fine you know what i mean so it sprang back to life so i'm going to pick a few more leaves from that Now I'm not sure how long all that lasts, the ones that I've got grown there. So I've planted, if you remember, three more rows of chard there and I'll keep doing it as well because, you know, for no matter how much you've got, you can always kind of bleed through it. And especially, it looks more than what you think it is. You know, if you come back over, I mean, there looks quite a lot there, but you know, once you kind of, for me personally, I get rid of the stalks. Yeah, you can chop them up and use them and fry exactly the same way. But I just get rid, of, get rid of the stalks. I just use it all, like I say, like a spinach or a beets, and just use the leaves that way. So what I've got picked there, that'll go down to nothing. You know, once it's kind of, you know, all the stalks are cut off, chopped up there, there'll be probably for three people. You know, like a kind of at, at, at serving size. But like I say, crush it with garlic, get it in mixed in, gorgeous. I hope you have a go at this because, like I said, it really is such a lovely vegetable. Tastes lovely as well. You know but it does make some kind of striking color in the allotment so you can get it in now now this month you know is the time to plant it get it straight into your beds or do it in little pots and then bring it out but get it done now right then solare what the hell's going on what, what is this stuff so this is what i'm hoping to do is and i think i'll be able to just put that one strip that i've bought in there and i want to interplant this you know this whole bed with stuff like that as well and actually that's a nicer space there yeah, i might i might <laughs> well there was a few comments last last time i did you know what i can keep changing there's never a plan you know what i mean it's no good me writing a plan out yeah i think i'll put it in that for now i mean each one of them i'm going to put something in these lines but i think for now i'm going to put that sol solarek in there right in the comments this is now where i'm doing it you know type in the comments what the hell do i how do i cook it what do i use it for So there you go, I've planted it in and I'll give it a quick water as you can see there and we'll get that in. As we're going over here, let's just see if you can spot it when I get down close to it. Have a look, can you see it there now? Can you? <laughs> right, should we just go a little bit further, a little bit closer in? Is it coming? Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see 
It's it's me bloody knife, man. <laughs> oh, that's where it was. Silly bugger, I left it there. Oh, man, I'll have to give that a clean up. See if it'll see if it'll clean up. <laughs> so I thought this thing was lost forever, and I couldn't work out where it was. I lost it last year, and I just bought it. It was a Father's Day gift, so it was in June when I got it, and within two weeks of having it i lost it and as you know let's just put i use ma mainly now this knife let's just see if i can get out this side it was a little comment by one of the list the uh the, the viewers meant and it's been a great one so i'll wd-40 see if i can get it to work there again but celerec what do i do with the celerec let us know look after yourselves take i'm waving this bloody <laughs> take good care see you later